Greetings fellow pipe smokers. It's been a while since my last video. Um, some of you may have been wondering where the hell I've been. Probably not many of you, but that's alright. Uh, life has a funny way of getting busy and taking up a person's time away from contributing here on YouTube. But um, I wanted to make a video today because I wanted to share something with you guys. So I thought it would be an interesting subject for a video. And, you know, this video actually has a little bit of a check-in with the community. So um, I guess a lot of you guys, especially here in the U.S., probably uh, have ordered pipes and pipe tobacco um, from time to time from pipesandcigars.com. And a whole month or two ago, I got a catalog from them. They send every so often. And I noticed in it that it had... Um, some new blends that I guess Russ at Pipes and Cigars had just recently made um, that they were doing exclusively, Pipes and Cigars was doing exclusively, and they were pipe tobacco blends that they were making in conjunction with, I guess in conjunction with, it seems to be how it's being presented, with Missouri Meerschaum, uh, the corn cob pipe company here in the U.S. And I was um, reading the pipe uh, tobacco descriptions, and they provided and they sounded pretty interesting so I went ahead and ordered um, a pouch of each of these tobacco blends uh, there's four of them four different blends they had um, I didn't see I haven't seen anybody in the pipe community really talk about this or mention it and I had to actually go look search for it in YouTube and I found one video from a guy who had just come back from the uh, Chicagoland pipe show back in I think May and he had picked up some free sampler bags from the pipes and cigar table or booth. And he was, you know, just kind of making a video saying, here, yeah, this is interesting. But I haven't seen anybody else mention it or talk about it in the community. But that doesn't mean they haven't. I just missed it. So, um, anyway, I want to share, do the little box opening with you and share these blends with you and bring them to your attention if you weren't aware of them. I know a lot of folks in the community are... Enjoy a good corn cob pipe. I have I have several corn cob pipes, but I haven't actually smoked one. Shoot, it's probably been a couple of years since I've actually smoked one. One of my cobs, unacceptably. But anyway, these are of course they kind of you know kind of market them as being exclusive for being smoked in your Missouri Meerschaum corn cob pipe, but you don't have to smoke them anything you want. But anyway, let's get to the box opening. I'm opening the box now. Here's the packaging. Pull out some little stuff. So they sent me another catalog. So, and on the back of the catalog, you'll see them there. These four blends. Here they are. The first one, let me get this box out of the way a little bit. The first one is called Country Gentleman. So this is Missouri Meerschaum Company, Country Gentleman. These are made by, um, I think it's Russ at uh, Pipes and Cigars who has um, blended these. I believe so, yeah. So Country Gentleman. Let me find in this catalog real quick what Country Gentleman is. Yeah, here we go. Country Gentleman is made of sweet Virginias and is spiced up with rich Perique. And a touch of dark fired leaf. So that's Country Gentleman. There is this pouch here. Missouri Pride. A description from Missouri Pride says Missouri Pride delivers real tobacco flavor from nutty burleys and zesty Virginias with almost no top dressing. That description makes me think this is basically in looking at it. I can't I can't really smell too much through this plastic not that I'm certain of yeah actually I can because this um, country gentleman I can smell the perique in this stuff this this Missouri pride I'm thinking this stuff is basically their take on like Carter Hall or um, Prince Albert and I love Carter Hall so I'm hoping we'll see how this compares to that if it's what I think it's supposed to be based basically like all right Moving on to the next one. 
Great Dane. And you can see they're all named after different um, their pipe shapes. Let's see the description for Great Dane. Great Dane uses a smooth black Cavendish, Burley, and Virginia with a unique combination of sweet flavors. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be basically like an aromatic. Yeah. I don't have a particular like. It's not, I wouldn't call it, not cherry, but there's something sweet smelling to it, almost like a, I don't know, honey, vanilla, caramelish type of sweetness smell to it. And then the fourth one here. American Patriot. The description from that is unique blend of Latakia, Virginia's Turkish, and Cavendish with a light bourbon top note. Oh yeah, I can definitely smell the Latakia in that. I don't really smell anything bourbony, but I can smell Latakia. So there you go. That's those four blends coming in a little one and a half ounce patches. You got a bourbon top noted kind of a Latakia blend here with American Patriot. Great Dane is their aromatic. That was good. Country Gentleman is the Virginia Perique. Looking forward to this. And then you got Missouri Pride, which is basically their burly blend with a little Virginia. I think of this is, like I said, Carter Hall, Prince Albert. So anyway, I thought that was interesting. Wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. Um, you may want to check that out yourself. I don't know if they're going to necessarily smoke any better in a cob than they would any other pipe, but that's probably a, a good place to try them out. So I wanted to share that with you. Uh, I'm sorry for all my new subscribers who if you haven't seen a video from me recently in several months. Like I said at the beginning of this video, uh, life has really taken a turn. Both work and work obligations and family obligations have um, taken up an extremely large amount of my time. And I don't see that changing anytime soon. So it leaves me almost no time, pretty much no time to make a video, very little time to watch um, your videos. And shoot, I don't even have much time to enjoy a pipe. Uh, maybe once or twice a week do I have time to really smoke a pipe. Is I got so much stuff going on, and then I come home and it's just like boom, it just you know crash. And I said, you know, but I don't know. Smoking a pipe is pretty relaxing way to pass an evening, so I should probably avail myself more of that as a way to unwind from the day. Anyway, so I don't know the gist of all this. I don't know how frequently I'm going to be posting more videos in the future. So um, I'm not going away. But my, for the time being, the near present, my activity level is going to be pretty drastically reduced. So anyway, that's what's going on with me. Hope you found this video entertaining and interesting. And as always, smoke in peace.